At the end of October for RSA Europe, I'll be moderating a panel called Breachaholics Anonymous, and we'll be talking about breaches, and more importantly, from a European perspective, we'll be talking about uh, the European Privacy Directive and how that affects organizations, because it's going to change a lot of things. You know, for one, global organizations, even if they are not headquartered in Europe, but they do business in Europe, they'll have to comply with this. And it's all about understanding whether you've been breached or not and informing the required authorities as quickly as possible. I think there's a 24-hour time limit for most incidents, which is pretty tight. So. In preparation for this, I've had a lot of conversations with different people involved in business in Europe, you know, European CISOs, people who are in consulting roles and things like that. And one thing that's become clear is that this is starting to drive a bit of anxiety about, you know, is it enough just to comply with this? How do we build on this and move beyond compliance and actually get so that we're better prepared for any breach or incident that may happen to us? And the conversation has really turned away from you know what audit report can I get to what do you do around security controls to help me build a good foundation so that I'm resilient, so that I can react quickly, so I can detect things that are inappropriate in my environment, and then obviously I, I do want to be able to provide reports to prove I've been doing what I'm supposed to be doing, but a lot of the focus has moved away from just checking the box and moving into uh, being able to be more proactive, to be able to tie the amount of effort applied uh, and relate it directly to the risk that's involved. You know, so I think there's a clear understanding now that having a peanut butter approach where you try to apply the same level of rigor across your entire enterprise just isn't going to scale. So now we're talking about how do we integrate risk into this? How do we evaluate what's in my environment? How do I score it? And then how do I relate it back to the goals of the business so that I can spend more time and resources on the things that are most important to us, less time on the things that are less important, but still have an overall perspective so that I'm not surprised or blindsided if something unusual or unexpected happens. So a lot of this comes together to me in uh, being able to have a consistent approach to categorizing and recognizing you know, risky situations, to be able to uh, apply the right foundational controls to be able to not only have visibility but to have meaning and context around what's going on in the environment and then ultimately to be able to translate that into actionable reporting not just for executives but for the kind of people in the trenches who are responsible for securing the infrastructure, securing the data and being able to detect and raise the flag when something unusual happens in the environment.